Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, when we look at 2025, we're now in the month of May. Uh, we look at how Windows 10 is holding on real strong at its market share at more than 50%, only six months away. And how Windows 11, although going up there, is now 40 some percent, still hasn't you know reached or surpassed Windows 10. After four years, uh, you kind of wonder that, um, you know, what if in, in this Windows future going forward, Microsoft needs to have Windows 12 this year. And the reason Microsoft needs to have Windows 12 this year is to make this big change with Windows 10 where people are just staying there. And they need to make it in a way that is intelligent. Um, we talked about what's the minimum requirement of Windows 12. We don't know. And, of course, we don't know when there could be a Windows 12. But one thing for sure is that there probably should be a minimum requirement that is at least the same as Windows 11, which means that, you know, if you've got a Windows 11 compatible machine, you have Windows 12 also. Uh, and that is thinking, would they go forward with two different versions of one operating system like Windows 11. Windows 11 right now exists in the Copilot plus PC world as a AI operating system, but that works with um, either the ARM architecture uh, with uh, Snapdragon Elite chips um, and now slowly getting into the um, Intel AMD world, the x64 world, as long as you have an NPU, compatible NPU to also make it an AI operating system. But would they go forward and say, well, we also have a standard Windows 12. This one is for people that have machines without any NPU. And, uh, well, that contains no AI. Maybe that would be a path forward that could be interesting towards that. Of course, this is a discussion on the future of Windows and what it could be. And uh, sometimes it's fun to just extrapolate, just think about, you know, what is next. So I think that there should be two versions of Windows 12, one for the standard PC, one for these PCs that are capable of AI. And I think Microsoft needs to do it right, change a few things, make things better, and uh, especially make sure that the first version of Windows 12 is rock solid without any glitches that people are going to go crazy and give re bad reputations to. Um, I think this would maybe help people from Windows 10 move on to something else a little faster. We tell, you know, we see it all the time. There's the, uh, I'm jumping over this version of Windows. And Windows 11 is kind of the, I'm jumping over Windows 11 version. Uh, people are on Windows 10. I think there could be a few people waiting to Windows 12. So the question for you guys today is, are you waiting for Windows 12? Are you going to hold on to your Windows 10 PC until Windows 12 is here, see what it is, and then move on and just skip Windows 11 altogether? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.